when players have something other than themselves to play for, they play much better. It really is about the individual performance, but it's a byproduct of committing yourself to the good of the team that I think creates that individual performance, and I think that that showed this year. So many of the guys in our system saw such a huge jump forward because they were focused on the right thing. We had players who listened, we had excellent coaches and good systems, and it resulted, I think, in the, the second highest win total in all of baseball in the minor league. The productive team plate appearances is actually something that I started a few years ago back in, back in Texas. When guys get to understand it's more than just getting a hit. You know, it's, it's the quality of that is, is kind of what it's tied to. You know, if you have an opportunity where you, you have an eight or nine pitch at bat, that's a very productive at bat. You know, moving a guy from second to third base, getting the guy in from third, you know, those are all productive plate appearances that don't always you know, result in a hit. We introduced it at the minor league level this year uh, as something of a test study. Our minor leaguers really uh, gravitated toward it. So we're trying to reward our player for all the little things they do. Find some way to positively impact that moment. Major League clubs started tracking it with a chart on the wall. And, and as a result, everybody wanted to wind up on the top of the list. I walked into the clubhouse and the first person that walked up to me was Felix. And he said, I can't believe how good our minor league teams are doing. And it, it hit me. It was like, wow, he's paying attention. And, and you know, again, it just kind of creates the, the vibe of, God, everybody's doing this. I want to do my part. I want to be part of something really positive. And so when you get, you know, kids coming off the field in double A, wanting to check their phone real quick to see how Clinton did or how Bakersfield did, um, I know that's not something that was normal. We want to make sure that every single one of our eight teams feel, feel collectively responsible for the growth of the other. I think you saw in what this organization was able to do for the minor league level uh, last year with all the affiliates winning and getting into the playoffs. And that really starts <laughs> because the com communication is outstanding. And, and, but using the same language is huge. And the only way you can do that is constantly talking back and forth. And, you know, I, I've always said that I, there cannot be a wall between the big leagues and the minor leagues. It all has to run together. So the minute that player walks into this clubhouse, he's comfortable. We need those new players to come in and contribute immediately. What you saw for us is that the players who came to the big leagues and call us, every one of them contributed because they were already in a, a, a winning type environment. And now we brought them to the major leagues where for 30 teams, it is about winning every night. From Altavia to Heredia, people need to understand that, you know, if a player comes up from AAA and helps you win one game, one game in, a, in, a, in the major leagues is enormous. It's about a collective belief in one another. It's about a collective belief in the systems we're trying to employ. And then it's about connecting with the players on a, on a, on a private or personal level. It allows for a trust to exist. When the players trust the organization and, and don't have to question anything you're doing, when they know you have the, their best interests in mind, that's a people in process that works.